I drink with my right hand. This duff symbol is on the wrong side. Drinks with her left hand. I mean, I do have two drinking hands, but come on. <laughs> Look at our shirts, guys! Duff! Duff man! Duff man! Oh yeah! I just wish I had a belt. A duff man belt to go with it. With the right. beers all preloaded in there. Oh, right? Cool. Just like, ran out of beer. No, we didn't. Yeah. Duff man! Oh. Welcome back, guys. We're gonna do a episode about an update. Update is gonna cover everything probably till the end of the year. Yeah, I don't know if you guys notice. Oh yes. We have some uh, lav mics uh, some because the new equipment. Yeah, we've. I'm equipment. sure I've hit this a couple times now. I hope it sounds good. But we have a green screen wall in our toy toy room yep. that's been largely unused because. There's an echo. There's an echo in the room. If you've seen the game room, uh, game room, the toy room toy tour, room tour, there is an echo unless that mic is like right in my face. Yeah, and it was um, so hard to get rid of. I tried yeah. everything in Premiere So Pro. we've been avoiding that room to record in. Yeah. Uh, so we got these, what, what, what's the name? Well, well let's pick just. Up? Just pop it out there. Um, we got Comica WM100 Plus. If you notice something funny with the sound, or it doesn't quite sound like it usually does, or maybe it sounds better, let us know in the comments. Yeah. So we did uh, come across, or we've had some good news here in the yeah. last day. A YouTube channel by the name of Gaming Off The Grid, they hold a monthly, I'd say contest, but it's more of a promotion to help uh, smaller YouTube channels yeah gain growth with, well, just, just to been, get ourselves out there. They've been doing this since 2011. Wow. Yeah. So it's a YouTuber of the month, and basically the winner from the previous month gets to pick five YouTubers. They have to be under 1,500 subscribers, and they have to be a gaming-related channel. Thank you very much for nominating us, uh, RetroWolf88. Yep. Uh, we really appreciate it. I've been binge watching your stuff now for the last week and a half or so since my wife told me about oh, it. Oh yeah. And it's funny because she has a great channel but yeah. never pops up on my newsfeed. Exactly. Um, gaming Off The Grid, uh, Patrick had told me a little while ago. He did, them. he did. Gaming Off The Grid, if if you guys like our channel, you're gonna love Gaming Off The Grid. Go check oh, them out. Oh God, yeah. And yeah, they're fantastic. This, this is not, this announcement is not to self-promote and for you guys to go and vote for no, us. No, because you guys are already subscribed yeah, to us. You're it's, already it's not about part that. of the family It's here. not about that. It's more about uh, it, Gaming Off The Grid is helping the smaller channels gain some traction here. Yeah. So, uh, we're everybody, the five nominees, like that's including us, we're all winners in this because we're getting some traction, we're getting some yes. exposure that we wouldn't normally get. Exactly. So, we want to let you guys know all five and we're going to put links in the description yes. for the other four yeah um and we highly suggest you go and check them all out also check out retro wolf 88 yeah. and gaming, gaming off, off the, the grid. grid yeah so the other four nominees were if you see me looking off the sides because we have a whiteboard because it's a lot of information to remember so retro obsessed uh we also have retro reminiscent we also have Beyond Useless Gaming and Retro Complex. I, I'm like, they're all retro except for it's one. A it's a theme. It is. Right? Beyond Useless Gaming. We're just going to call you Retro Beyond Useless yeah. Gaming. But if we say that, then people are going to get confused. And they're like, yeah, we couldn't yeah. find them. You yeah. can. The links are in the description. So we're going to put them all there. So next thing we're going to talk about is Jen's Gamer Education. There is still one video yet to come out from there your is. education that should come out probably within the week of week, this one or so. Uh, next it's week It's gonna come in two. October for sure. The reason we held off um, releasing it till October was because there was a little bit of a problem. Flash, <laughs> it also went really good with Halloween, Halloween themed. themed. Yeah. So we thought we should just- Let's just mention what it that. was. It was Phil's pick. 
Phil's pick. Phil's oh. pick. Yeah. So, Phil, you see, you're probably waiting. Like, you're what like, what's the going hell? on? How come she hasn't done a review on my exactly. pick? Exactly. Anyway, it's Symphony uh -huh. of the Night, and we did do a video on it. It's not a review because there's probably a thousand reviews on YouTube, but Jen's going to talk about her experience in playing yes. it and what her thoughts on it. That is coming up in October. You have decided that. As far as gamer education goes, you're gonna take uh, the next step or a different step. We're gonna take a different step. Um, there is one outstanding gamers education that I'm I'm probably going to do at some point because it's a friend of ours, yeah. Mitch. Um, some things changed uh, as far as my work, work. life. Yeah. That's gonna be a little bit more challenging for me. So it's gonna make it harder to do this solo. So. Mr. Retro Rival had a great idea. Well, we, well, let's we, just say we on always, Saturdays. We try to spend our time together on exactly. our weekends. So if she's got her gamer education to do, to try yeah. to get through that kind of like, I mean, sometimes I'll sit in the room and I'll watch her play. Yeah. But it'd be a lot better if we do it this way. And this way is what? We're going to do a couple's couch co-op. We don't know if that will be the standing name for it. <laughs> But it was maybe, the best we could maybe, come up with. Maybe you guys could shoot it in the comments. What do we call this? Some fun names, some quirky names. Yeah. I don't know. This could be a divorce waiting to happen. I don't know. Could be fun. Could so, be fun. It's and also, fun. if you want in on this next yes. round of gamer education, yeah. let us know in the comments because we're going to be taking the same thing. We're going to be taking uh, people in the community yep. of our YouTube channel and some friends or whatever again yep and uh, we'll pick one person per month you'll do the same thing you'll give us three suggestions on games to play we're gonna pick one and then together we're yeah. gonna try and beat that game in the month and then we'll do a video on it and talk about our experience It'll be fun. we may have to do it in different rooms at that point <laughs> but <laughs> we've got two cameras we yeah. can do it yeah. now before we get into the rest of the stuff uh, Scott had said, you really should ch show everybody what you've been working yeah. on for the last couple weeks. And uh, Retro Wolf already knows because I said, I'm gonna watch your channel and I'm gonna work on my painting, but I hope I don't fuck up and like screw up my painting because his mom is a blast and a half. M Mama Retro, if you're listening, you better show your mom this. I like, I wanna hang out with her because I think she'd be a lot of fun. I just. Mother Retro is my new favorite All person right. on YouTube. <laughs> so, if you are a normal viewer of our channel, yeah. you've seen Jen's artwork in the past. Mm -hmm. There's some of it hanging up behind us right now, but I also have a wall that's behind the camera. Yeah. And it's basically the full length of the wall. Um, you're still in the process of filling the wall, but here is one more piece added to the puzzle. Yes. I'm going to bring it out right now. Harleen or Harley Quinn. Harleen, Harleen Quinzel, Harley Quinn. Yep. Um, this was inspired, and I think it's the same uh, it's the exact illustrator. Same artist that did the you the took Joker. inspiration Alex from Alex Ross. Yes. Yeah. And I'm gonna grab the comic book cover because I'm big into comics, and we were thinking, well, because what goes good with the Joker? And I happened to, be, to pick this has comic to be up. Harley Quinn. I don't know if I can get it in there without the glare. If, if not, there is we'll a glare, take a if you're gonna take a picture and you'll pop it up there so everybody can see. I'll yeah. move it around a little well, bit. Well, you're further back now than what our faces are, so it's getting blurry. Ooh. Bring her back, bring her back. There you go. There we go. Uh, yeah. So that was the inspiration for the painting. And I tell you, we'll pop a picture up of it beside the Joker, and it looks awesome. So this is not a hundred percent percent no. complete because you just have to I paint have to the paint edges the and then you have to seal have to it. Seal it it okay. looks awesome and I can't wait for the next one yeah I'm now when I say the next one there is a bigger piece yeah. there is another you're working on it right now there's another uh -huh. big kind of a box art style it's gonna be similar to not similar well same size almost as the almost, Me yeah. Super Metroid. Yeah. It's going to be a PlayStation game. Yeah, I think we had it. mentioned it. We had mentioned it a couple video. of times. But after we have Harleen up beside the Joker, Dennis had told us, and another co worker of mine yeah. had told me, uh, Vidanik, 
it took me like three weeks to be able to say that name. <laughs> um, it said, Batman would look awesome. So yeah. I, and I said, fuck it, yeah, it would. It would look good. And then we're like, but it was... I, and I said to them, I said, it's really hard yes. to find a Batman because it's just... Um, there's just so much black and it's hard to get Those that features. features because there's different shades of black. Well, anyway, we did find a bust. A bust, yeah. So and I'm going to make a painting off a bust. It's going to look awesome. Yeah, it's going to be more of a blue-black, but yeah. still very... Oh, it's, it's it was look, a lot of fun. It's going to look I'm awesome. I'm excited to paint it's it. It's going to look awesome. I'm really excited. Next thing on the list is Get to Know Gamer. Get to Know Gamer. Uh, we did a Get to Know Gamer, and I've had a lot of people tell us that they really enjoy the Get to Know Gamer. We thought we should roll out Get to Know Gamer to more people. The premise of the whole Get to Know Gamer was pick 10 games that define you as a gamer, that changed you, that you love. It's something that oh, you, yeah. couldn't, you couldn't imagine yeah. going back and erasing. A, games that made you love gaming. That nostalgia. Yeah. I don't think we talk about that enough we we're always excited for these new games that are coming out and or what's next. or you you also it's always um the same big games that people yes. talk about from the past yeah retro games it's awesome to hear like uh, phil came on phil, phil came, came on, on and with i didn't like know a fucking 60, game i lost <laughs> phil had like we said pick 10 games he came on with 60 games but he took we're saying 10 games but we're saying 10, it could be 10 series. Yeah, you know? yeah. So like you're Zelda, like Zelda, whatever. Or he's or a big Mega Man fan. Mega you couldn't Man. Couldn't pick one. So yeah, that's that's the whole premise of the idea there. Like, you, we only have so much time to talk on exactly about it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna you take 10 games or a series and um, why why you love them so much. Yeah. What do you enjoy? What are your favorite memories maybe it's a christmas memory maybe yeah. it's something you fight with your brother I, I don't know i've heard people tell me after uh, you've had a few you had an incident here with a memory card i've heard people talk about stuff like that like oh, their brother man. got pissed off because uh, they wouldn't younger brother got pissed off because you they weren't getting time on the machine so they got on there and raced the entire save file stuff like that <sighs> So, like, we love hearing those stories, and then yeah. I love hearing about games, possibly, that I haven't heard of before. Exactly, exactly, and it's just a way to interact with the community that we haven't done before. Yeah. So, yes, I watch all these channels, but I don't get to physically talk to them, and there's that, it's just a different dynamic. It is. It just makes it so yep. much more fun. You do have a few few people that are interested already. Oh, I've got a handful of people, yep. if not like a dozen people so far, yeah. and I feel bad because I, I'm, you know, put this out on Twitter a couple weeks ago, or not quite a couple weeks ago, and my plan was to schedule it, and then life got <clears throat> kind of busy, and I was trying to finish the Harleen This is painting. a October, uh, October, October, that's a different, different month it's altogether. October to December is usually typically very busy for us, mm -hmm. uh, especially with your work, my work. Oh, yeah. Both get very busy around that time yeah. of year. And so. then I usually create my own busyness. So. Yes. Maybe in the comments, if you're um, interested in possibly being on the show and uh, what what is the... Uh, medium or what is, what do they use to stream we're going to use Streamyard. it's really user friendly yeah. um we actually live stream with our nikon it's not yeah. something that you'd usually live stream with i know a lot of people will use like logitech or they'll use your their phone or their whatever but when i wanted to live stream i was like i've got this fantastic uh, digital SLR. I want to use it. I paid a lot of money for it. What can I do? So we got a cam link and we hook it up and it's it's phenomenal. It's, it's pretty oh, user friendly. Yeah. yeah. So you can do this with your laptop. You can do it with your phone. You can do it with a digital SLR if you have the equipment to go with it. It's super easy and StreamYard is not even something you have to download. I would send you the link and then you just get on and, and that's it. Like it's nice. very, very, very easy. easy, really easy, uh, user friendly. You just so, need a headphone. 
Maybe so, maybe in the comments not the best way to get a hold of us. Or yeah, it's still a good way. Yeah. But maybe uh, get a hold of you on either on Facebook yeah. or Twitter. Yeah. At Retro Rivals. Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you can pop all those links in there. If you know. would be interested in possibly being on the show, and we'll do a live stream. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about some great games. We'll drink I'll some beer. Promise, we'll have some fun. Promise there will be fun. There definitely <laughs> will be fun. Next on the list is our Halloween show. And basically all of October shows are Halloween themed yes. of some type. So you guys would have seen a Halloween show from us already on My Mansions of Madness. We didn't say it was a Halloween show. No, but I think but October it's, is kind of like, you're yeah, going to see a lot of Halloween that stuff. Theme. As we're filming this, we're actually scheduled or scheduled ourselves we're gonna film our official halloween episode yeah and we're gonna get dressed up uh -huh. and i got a cool costume mm. Mm. me too and her too uh -huh. and then we're gonna film that tomorrow next on the list we're getting close to the end hang with us <laughs> no we're almost done is uh we're gonna talk about november november you have a video coming out uh, we did a collaboration with another youtube I'm channel so excited about that and we already filmed it and we had the most fun <laughs> and if it doesn't it's, translate it's it's the two of us and dennis and dennis and it is uh we were sent this and wheel two, and two shirts and two shirts. And two shirts. We are gonna, yeah, we wore them in the video. Yeah. So this wheel of. No, death wheel. Death wheel. Death, death wheel. wheel. Death wheel. Anyway, so we played, a, I'm not gonna tell you too much about the video, but it's coming out, it's a collaboration. You can just imagine. This was sent to us by Bachelor's Fridge. And yes. uh, I do suggest if you want to have a good laugh, um, to go to uh, Bachelor's Fridge, we will put it a I... link in the description because here's how I describe Bachelor's Fridge to my <laughs> friends. I said it is a cross between Big Bang Theory's Leonard and Fear Factor. And Fear Factor. If Leonard This is how I describe it to my friends. So he he was kind if enough. If Dustin didn't know he looked like you kind of look like you Leonard's looked brother. Like Leonard. Yeah. If Leonard had a brother, it you guys you. could be brothers. So he sent You're the us, cooler brother. He sent this this wheel, and uh, we played a game. I'm not going to say what it was. And um, what we had to do is we spun this wheel three times. You get three different ingredients, and those three ingredients go into a shot, and you drink it. And I'm telling you, ooh, you guys, some have of them to, were bad. You have to check it out if you don't your life will not be complete without <laughs> checking out this video yeah. also go awesome. go check out the bachelor bachelor's fridge. i'm gonna put a link to his spam castle oh my god spam he castle. did yeah like sand cat took a sand castle mold and made it spam 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 castle so yeah you're gonna have a link for him in there there's gonna be a there's lot of links You'll have so much to watch. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. So now we're into December. Yep. Let's see, we're almost done. We're almost done. And December's uh, videos are basically going to be, your idea was... December DIYs because Christmas is right around the corner <sighs> and also game room tour is right around the corner. So yes. if you have a game room, or if you have somebody you like enough to make a DIY for, you could do this for either or. They are all gaming related. We do do, <laughs> we do do a lot of DIYs, but they don't all make the channel. Because mm -mm. um, we're always doing DIYs. So in December, we're gonna do DIYs. So there's gonna be a, I don't know how many you're planning for. We've got a few. You've been and working away. Yes. Well, stuff. I've been working away at stuff because I'm preparing for our game, game room tour. tour that we want to have out between Christmas and New Year yeah. in that week. Yeah. That's what we're aiming for. Yeah. I hope we can make it. Um, and if you've seen our old game room tour, you are going to be hopefully pleasantly surprised. Why don't we put a link in the description? And we'll put <laughs> another link in the description. 
but for our old game room tour, it has drastically changed. I think we I have drastically changed. I think it changed. looks you very. It look? What? What did you say? I think it looks. You said clunk. Clunk? You said thunk. Thunk? I think I the don't know. tequila shots. Just Maybe. I think it looks cleaner and more organized, and there are sharper. Yeah. Yeah. It's more modern, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's the right word. No, I think it is um, because we we did some stuff to, I think, to bring it into more of like the now era of gaming. Well, we watched. Well, we watched. I watched a lot of game room no, tours. I watch a lot of YouTube. No, I do too. Yeah. But I watched a lot of game room tours, and yeah. I uh, there's things that kind of bug me, and uh, there's things that I like, and. I kind of took all that inspiration and changed a few things. Yeah. So. And our game room tour will be different this year too. I think when we yeah. put it out last year, it was in, I think it was in August. We were very We were fresh. New. It was new, we yeah. We were new. You haven't found, you didn't find your editing style. Didn't find my editing style. I was still feeling my oats as far as like talking to the camera oh yeah me too and so i was a little, you'll see that in the game room tour bit, video like, nervous and maybe not even nervous as much as like reserved i felt more awkward. reserved more awkward yeah. like if you guys met me in person and you came and hang hung out with us like i'm not this yeah. like i'm just like a ball of energy i guess and i'm gonna feed you and you'll have beer because scott will make you drink she'll and feed you i'll make you drink yeah it's a great place to be. We have games. Got games. Mm -hmm. Got beer. Mm -hmm. Got food. Mm -hmm. It's like a trifecta of awesome. Right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff in the room, but still I was very smart about how I organized it yes. and used my space. So mm -hmm. I hope it, it all translates, translates it well. well. Yeah, we, have, we do have a ton of fun in this game room. Some of, I think some of my favorite moments from the last year have happened in this game room. Oh yeah. Hot shots. Hot shots. Hot shots was maybe. Hot shots. Death shots. Death shots. Anything with <laughs> shots. Anything with shots. And it's pretty anything fun. with shots. Can't remember most of it, but yeah. <laughs> we just have so much fun with our friends and hanging yeah. out, and it, this none of this would have been possible. Had you not picked up this hobby. All right, let's wrap it up. Okay. Any words of wisdom? Mm, I very rarely have words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. All right. A fucking tequila shot every time. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for sticking around for the entire video. Uh, check out all the links in the description. Please, yes. And if you want to check out all this upcoming, what do you want to call it? content mm -hmm. in the next what two and a half months yeah then hit that subscribe button please click that yes. notification bell and we will see you next time cheers cheers and game on game on should have chugged them i should i was literally just gonna say i should have made you chug it you want to chug it want to chug it I, i've got very mm, little i got a lot of beer in my mustache you want to drink it <laughs> No? All right. I love you, but PDA is just... People are like, ew, oh PDA. What the hell's PDA? Public display of affection. <laughs> this is public. This is our public. Ready? I've got way less to chug. <laughs>